Okay. Go, go, go okay, sure. Uh, so hi. Uh, today I'll be uh, talking about uh, some adventures uh, with constructing a home uh, data center. But, but then why? Well, sim simply because it gives you uh, having a few servers gives you the ability to uh, set, set up and run environment. And uh, if you mess up, no one's going to kick your butt, basically. And it's fun. Also, why not? So yeah, uh, it started uh, in April of uh, this year when I got my uh, first server, HP Poland dl dg 6 And then, uh, well, it grew. I got more servers and all that for various things like, rou like routing, uh, virtual machine uh, applications, web servers, and things like that. And yeah, uh, it grew e even more. Uh, so you still have the Fujitsu, you have a Super Micro, your HP, and then your uh, Dell servers all there. Uh, uh, so yeah, I then sold off some of the servers. Uh, and here's an interesting thing. This act this actually is a Malaysian sys admin who actually came all the way here from KL just to buy a few servers. But why? Simply because it's really expensive in Malaysia for some of these used servers. Uh, this uh, price is about six hundred, almost seven hundred dollars. Uh, thing for a very old uh, DDR2 uh, uh, era server, and even more recent servers like uh, this Dell uh, R710, for example, is still very expensive, over a thousand in uh, Sing dollars even. Uh, so yeah, their prices seem to be unbeatable. So yeah, the uh, I sold out a few servers, but then yeah, uh, the stack is uh, still growing. And then I, a friend wanted to co-locate the server with me, so I put her server in, uh, in my stack. And then got this four node blade server. Uh, yeah. And then I realized with this whole stack here, and I'm putting my keyboard, I'm putting my monitor, and all, all that, I'm about to hit the roof of my, uh, as in the bottom part of my uh, loft bed, and I realized that I, I can't continue putting more uh, servers uh, below my bed anymore. So, uh, I got a rack. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, we moved ev everything out uh, from that stack in, into the rack. Uh, so a few friends uh, were, help were helping me out. We, we racked up everything, we installed all, all the servers. Uh, you yeah, did all the uh, cabling, uh, back cabling, front cabling, uh, crimping of wires on the sp or of cables on the spot, testing them, and well, this is the uh, front view of the uh, whole uh, rack, and this is the well the back back view. Not that great cabling, but still, uh, but but still good enough for application, and then uh, make sure that they are fine. Uh, just start them. Just start each one of them up. See, make sure that uh, it, it can start basically, and then done. This is the 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 setup just after that, and this is the rack as of this morning. As you can see, an, yet another server was added uh, to this uh, rack, and I'm already out of ports on uh, on this uh, thing. The network diagram is uh, pretty simple. I have a one gigabit internet connection coming in, uh, and it's just a consumer router at the moment. And the switch is connected to that uh, router, and it goes to all, uh, it goes to all my servers, including the uh, server that I'm co-locating for my friend. Uh, the Blade server, the Dell PowerEdge uh, C6100, is running a, a virtual network, and there are few uh, virtual machines connected uh, to, to uh, that is running, and it's connected via a virtual bridge interface. Uh, so there. So, what about concerns like noise? From my bed, my meter can't even uh, register. And just a, a meter right in front of the rack, 51 uh, dBA. Okay, I guess. What about heat? Not much. Uh, about 30, 31 degrees, uh, more or less constant, uh, which is quite uh, close to ambient temperatures anyway, uh, it, when Singapore is quite sunny. So quite a number of, uh, so I have a few plans for this. I have ordered a few uh, 10 gigabit capable uh, switches. I've also ordered another Supermicro server that's meant to handle uh, 10 gigabit routing. 
and of course getting a 10 gigabit incoming connection itself uh, that is uh, on the works and what I'm thinking of doing is uh, getting another server for, for meta as a, to act as a meta as service uh, rack controller so I can uh, configure and deploy uh, individual servers, individual virtual machines, uh, mach handle uh, various subnets and all that through one server and one, uh, one web interface and also uh, I'm trying to f uh, figure out means to automate uh, configurations of, of uh, different servers and virtual machines and uh, deploy them automatically so I don't have to do all this. Managing quite a uh, number of servers like that can be quite tedious. Uh, so some of the uh, considerations are, are really things like what is your power, demand and consumption? Can your, uh, can your cabling handle that? Because servers can take quite a lot of power. Uh, so I read the uh, electrical drawings for my home and I realized that okay I can do up to around uh, 4 kilowatts at most with some margin. Uh, that, that about. And do we need redundant power? Uh, things like uh, battery backups, uninterruptible power supplies, redundant connections even, uh, though that might be a bit harder. What about uh, noise. Some servers can be very loud, especially blade servers. Though in my case, I did some uh, uh, hacks and I tried uh, and well basically in a way I'm trying to show that uh, or I tried to show that Dell could have just used a certain set of fans uh, and it was much quieter but then I don't recommend that uh, I'm, I'm trying to uh, I, I'm basically going up against quite a few engineers who are much more experienced than me in terms of uh, aerodynamics, thermodynamics and things like that so so yeah, it works for me. I don't guarantee it works. Modifying fans or that works for anyone else. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, the servers yeah, definitely generate a, a lot of heat. How and cooling systems? How do you need? How are you going to get all of that heat out? Uh, what about space? Uh, in my configuration, as you can see, there's not uh, really enough uh, backspace for uh, circulation or that. Uh, so, so yeah, those uh, concerns that you need, and of course maintenance of the servers, how much it costs to maintain the servers and uh, eventual disposal because they, they, they are old and obsolete anyway. And in terms of noise, a lot of servers, they give you uh, uh, specs like this uh, where they tell you, okay, the, the server is expected in operation to generate this amount of noise uh, on idle and in, uh, and in uh, much higher load. And you can see, as, uh, as my earlier picture, uh, I was able to measure 51 dBA in terms of noise, one meters in front of the rack. And if you look at the table, uh, it says average home. So it's uh, pretty much OK. Uh, it does, it's not any more louder than, uh, say, my stand, uh, stand fan run, uh, uh, running right in front of the rack. And of course, uh, system uh, operating temperatures, uh, you need, as I said, you need to get the heat out. So uh, you have to maintain that temperature and the uh, spec sheets of many servers will actually give you that uh, rating. So uh, pretty, that's pretty much it. Yeah, hmm? yeah um, so um, um, what about your, my, the like, parents, they have any objections or feedback? Uh, <laughs> Well, the only uh, objection for that is uh, make sure he can sleep at night. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good job. Uh, and yes, uh, he sleeps right in front of the server. It's a sofa bed and it pulls out. So he sleeps right in front of the server, right? So if he can sleep right in front of it, the noise is uh, okay-ish. I won't say that it's ultra, absolutely quiet. It's just okay-ish, bearable. Yes. Is it similar to this vetting machine noise? Uh, ki kinda. It, well, it depends. Some servers, uh, they may, they, uh, when they run their fans at higher speeds, they may make uh, some uh, higher pitch uh, whine or noise. So there's that also uh, to be uh, taken account of. That's the noise you can face. <laughs> also, like, um, what sort of workloads are you running on? Oh, okay. Uh, right now, I'm trying uh, some uh, experimental uh, <coughs> stuff on my own. So I'm running a DNS server on, on one of them. I'm running, and my Blade server is going to be a VM cluster. And well, I do have some of my own uh, personal servers uh, running that run. They also run a few VMs uh, for all sorts of computation like FPGA, like my own personal FPGA uh, development, uh, uh, or just various 
virtual machines of various projects I just want to uh, throw up and I don't run on my laptop because I need to go, go places really. Mm. So thanks, boys.